Yo, what's going on guys? It's Zidix here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Razer Viper Ultimate wireless mouse. So this is like the second best wireless mouse on the market. The first being the Logitech G Pro X, the super light. So yeah, this is the front of the box. You can see Viper Ultimate. This is the top. It's just green. Here on the left side, it talks about Razer's hyperspeed technology. You can pause the video if you want to read it. I don't know if you can see it or not very well. And then on this side, it just talks about Razer's company. So you can see, you can pause that if you want to read it. And yeah, without further ado, let's open this mouse. So you can see, we gotta get the tape off first. Got uh, some scissors. And yeah. Okay, finally I got it. Sorry, I sped up the video. It took way too long to get off. But yeah, now we're gonna open it. Opens just like this. And as you can see, here is the mouse. Oh my god. It feels really light, but it definitely feels a little bit heavier than my Death Outer Mini. But it's still really light, and it actually feels like really nice. The side buttons, they're okay. They're a little bit small and I'm gonna have to get used to and they're a little bit hard to press. And the clicks, let's just get the box out of the way. Clicks, they feel a little bit weird, but I'm just gonna have to get used to them. The Razer Optical V2s. And yeah, everything feels nice. I'm just gonna need to get used to it. And then one more thing out of the box is the charging dock. I'm gonna get that out. This is an easy way to charge it. And yeah, you plug this in and then you put the mouse on. Like, oh wait, I gotta, I also gotta peel this off first. Forgot about that. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is the mouse out and you just put it on like that. And when this the dock is plugged in, that charges. And yeah, so before we get into that though, I have a box right here. I just want to show you guys the rest of everything. Go on, it's open. Take this out. And there's a manual or whatever. No one cares about that. And there's also a cable, which is, I believe, for the charging dock. But if not, it's for, like, the mouse, in case you want to just charge it directly through the PC. Not sure. And that's just it. I think that it, yeah, that is for the charging dock. I got all this foam. That's like stuck on. That's cool. Ripped it off a little bit. Who cares? So yeah, without further ado, uh, I'm gonna get the mouse set up and everything, and I'll be back when it's on. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention, in case you were wondering, on the back of the mouse, there's this little plate that you have to take off right here, and that is what you use to plug in the mouse wirelessly. So yeah. One more thing I wanted to show off before we got into like the gameplay review is the software itself. So as you can see, I just opened it. I haven't touched it. Right out of the box, I have 46%. We also have the Razer dock right here, which I kind of want to show off as well. So if we click on the mouse right here, you can see here's all like the performance. Here's HyperShift. We have right-handed use. And we go into performance. I don't like using sensitivity stages, and I'm also going to be using... 1600 dpi because that's what i used for that i want to try out i might go back to 800 or 1200 and then here's where you can open your windows mouse properties i make sure to copy these settings these are the best settings S like six up here i think and then like over here enhance words and off and then like halfway here just about and yeah those are like the best settings Blowing rate you want that on a thousand lighting um I keep the brightness kind of low, just like 30%. And then I do like a static effect. I like doing red. So that's how I'm going to keep it. I'm going to find a way. I am going to keep this open for now in the background for it in order for it to work. But I want to find a way to possibly close Razor Synapse and keep it. Because you need to keep it open at all times when you want the changes to save. And calibration, we can just have like whatever 
you can mess with this. I'm gonna mess with that later. I don't wanna touch it right now. I'm just gonna use it as normal. Lower power, low power mode. Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna put that on a hundred. Uh, we can put that on five minutes. I'm gonna put that on ten minutes actually. For idle, and yeah, you can just set up anything. I don't really know what this is, but I am gonna mess with that. This probably helps your tracking though, and how like the mouse moves and stuff. So yeah, that's everything in the software. And also, you can unbind these buttons too. For now, I'm just gonna unbind them. You disable the back buttons because we're right-handed, obviously, so we're not gonna be using these unless you want to. So we disable those. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show off. Now we're gonna get into the gameplay. I'm sorry, one more thing before the gameplay is how it, when you have Synapse open, you can see the battery. And as you can see, if I put it on the charging dock, it should indicate that it's charging. Hold on. So you want to make sure you put it on right, and then you'll get a charging symbol. And you can see like from the RGB, it's, it's synced up as well. I'm not going to charge it now because I want to play, but yeah, I just wanted to show that. Now that was the last thing. I'm going to get into the gameplay. Alright guys, so we're in game now, as you can see. Uh, you can see a little bit of my charging dock. My charging dock's right here. I'm not going to leave that on my mouse pad normally, but I kind of just want to, like, keep it in view. So you guys can, like, see it. Oh, wait. Put it, like, right here. You guys can see it. Uh, obviously, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that when I normally play, but that's just, like, there to show you guys and yeah oh we're just gonna get into a creative game all right so first impressions of the mouse it feels pretty weird i'm not gonna lie it doesn't feel bad like the glide feels better and it's just like not something i'm used to you know um yeah we can start game real quick yeah wow this feels really weird Definitely gonna have to get used to it. But man, I can tell, like, it feels like better, you know? Like, more like instant. But it just feels a little bit awkward. Something you're gonna have to get used to for sure. Unless you have a mouse like this. But yeah, uh, the side buttons, they feel fine. They're a little bit too small, I feel like. And then also, they're like kind of like kind of like sink into the mouse almost it feels a little bit weird just it's not anything bad it's just something you might need to like get used to and yeah i'm just gonna free build this mouse for a little bit it definitely feels weird not having a wire this is literally the first time i've ever used a wireless mouse i'm not gonna lie i like it the experience is pretty nice Alright, so after free building for a bit, I would like to say, like, this mouse is really good. I can see why. It's, it used to be, it's been the best wireless mouse for like a year, and it's the second best now. The Logitech. I'd say it's very close to the best. I don't have the best, but I'd say, like, I don't see how the best could be much better than this. It almost feels lightweight. Uh, I just was playing on a 60 gram mouse, and this one's like 75, 76, I believe. And I don't really notice too much of a difference. They both feel like really lightweight. I definitely can notice a difference, but not too much, you know? And then, um, the shape is weird. You might have to adjust your grip style a little bit, especially because, like, the side buttons are kind of placed weirdly. As you can see on these side buttons, they're at the top. My old mouse, they're, like, a little bit down. And they're kind of in a better, like, I wouldn't say better, but just, like, a spot I'm gonna have to, like, get used to, you know? And, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's a great mouse. Uh, the grips on the side, I don't know why everyone says they're super bad. I definitely do prefer, like, this PBT keycap feel, but the, like, grips are not something you're not going to want to use the mouse for. It's nothing bad, for sure. But, I mean, obviously, if you don't like them, they also can reduce weight on the mouse if you want to take them off. But, obviously, that's obviously up to you. I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to do that. But yeah, and you also don't need to because the mouse feels really nice as it is. And yeah, that's kind of the only things I had to say about it. In terms of the clicks, the Razer Optical V2s feel really nice. Uh, they, I feel like I can tell a little bit 
about the speed advantage over like some normal switches. And yeah, it just feels like nice, I guess. You're definitely gonna love this mouse if you get it. I definitely recommend this. I mean, if you're down to pay an extra like 50 to $30 for the Logitech to be for wireless, or it's super light. Um, and you're also down for the weight, then I'd say get that. But like, this mouse is 30 to $50 cheaper. And it has some, it has some advantages over it. And yeah, it's still like a really good mouse. And if you don't want to wait like two, three weeks to get the Logitech one, I'd definitely get this mouse because it's really good. One of the best. It feels really nice. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say though. Um, I definitely recommend getting this mouse. It's nice. Sorry that I keep saying that. I'm just going to end the video off with some more free building as I'm getting used to this mouse more. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review, unboxing and everything. Yeah, hope I helped your opinion about the Razer Viper Ultimate. Peace out guys.